And when I saw the shoulder pads, I was like, I have to get it. I have to. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Jazz Yvonne here. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jazz Yvonne. I focus on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, and I have a particular interest in luxury and sustainable brands. So if that sounds like something that is, you know, piquing your interest, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Today, I will be doing a collective luxury haul. Y'all, I have been doing so much shopping over the past couple months, and I haven't hopped on camera to show y'all what I've got. I've gotten some really great pieces, and most of these pieces have been on sale, so I've been doing good in terms of like, you know, saving money while I'm spending money, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested in seeing what I got over the past couple months, uh, please keep watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this haul started by featuring some black owned brands that I supported uh, more recently. I mean, just in the honor of, you know, Black History Month, you know, I just wanted to start off with the black owned brands. So the first brand that um, I want to talk about um, is Hanifa. You may have already seen this item in the video where I was highlighting six black owned brands that you should support this February. And so you've already seen this item, you've already seen this item on my Instagram, but here it is again. This is the Maya Knit Cardigan Dress. And I actually got it on sale um, during their Black Friday sale. So the original price of this dress, and I'm just looking up really quickly. The original price of this dress is $269 and it was 30% off. So I got it for $188 dollars which is a good deal in my opinion because as we all know a lot of luxury brands don't go on sale very often so when they do go on sale you know hop on those sales when you can i will insert pictures of me wearing this dress again i have styled it a lot on instagram and so check my instagram out if you haven't already and make sure you follow me there the second item that i got from hanifa is these beautiful pants and these pants are gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. They have this beautiful, beautiful feather texture. I'm gonna also insert some pictures because, um, of not of me, because when I tried these pants on, they're way too long for me. I am 5'3", I'm a petite girl. These pants were made for someone who was at least 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, um, these pants are very long. And I need to get them tailored. So I am a little bit too embarrassed to put myself on blast like that when I tried on these pants. But I'm going to insert a picture of what they're supposed to look like. I'm going to get them tailored to make sure the, the waist fits very well. And um, to make sure the ends fit very well. Because that's the main part. They're way too long. This feather detail, I just had to have them. So chic. So chic. I cannot wait to get them tailored and to wear them in some great looks. So the pants are originally $159 and I got them for 30% off, so I paid $100 for them. Gorgeous, y'all. Gorgeous! The very uh, last uh, piece that I got from Hanifa during their Black Friday sale was this set. This is the, I believe it's called the Robin set. And you see how electrifying this color is? Like one of the hugest fashion trends of 2022 will be bold electrifying colors and so when i saw this uh set here i was like yo i gotta get that one i didn't really i didn't know that bold colors was gonna be a trend in 2022 but i like the color i was just like and i don't you i'm not a color girl you see i'm, I'm wearing white i'm not a color girl very often but this was just it just drew me and also i love um sets because they're very versatile you can wear the set you know together you can wear the top with another bottom and you can wear the bottom with another top and so i love sets because you get more bang for your buck now let me tell you all about the price of this set so this set was originally 179 dollars and i got it for 30 percent off again and it was 125 dollars on sale and so definitely worth the price just beautiful just beautiful the color like you see oh my gosh y'all spring summer you will see me wearing this one out you will see me wearing it out so the next black owned brand that i wanted to um kind of talk about in my collective luxury haul is um 
some shoes that I got from Off White. Um, unfortunately, Virgil Abloh um, passed away um, over the holiday season, I believe, or maybe at the beginning of this year um, from cancer. And so, I when I saw that these pieces were when it, when I saw that uh, some of his pieces were on sale at Ukes, I decided to take advantage of the sale, and I also wanted to make sure I purchased something from the brand because Virgil is unfortunately no longer here and so I consider any pieces that you would buy from the brand now to be collector's items because they're going to be very rare because you won't be able to purchase any more items from the brand anymore unless they continue the brand after you know he's away. I wanted to purchase these uh these shoes because one collector's item and two look at look at them these are stunners let me let me let this folk this camera focus do you see these do you see do you see that these are some of the most unique shoes i've ever seen in my life and i'm an accessories girl y'all know this about me i wear very simple clothes <laughs> very very simple clothes very classic simple clothes that you can wear from season to season to season, year to year to year. And the way that I spruce up my outfits is through bold accessories. I had to have these. The color, so electrifying. The texture, this is like velvet, the texture. Then you have the interest here with more texture with the ruching. Then you have this heel. Do you see that? had to have them these pieces I think originally retail for $1,200 and I think that I got them for $528 so I think that's I don't know how to work out the math I think it's 52% off I I'm bad at math I'll put the correct <laughs> calculation on the screen but I just had to have these the dress that I'm wearing is actually another item that I got on sale I don't know what's wrong with my brain but <laughs> I got this Ronnie Kobo dress um, I don't remember when I got it. I think I may have gotten it in December when Intermix was having a sale on a lot of their luxury items. They were having like a 40% off sale. And so I got this Ronnie Kobo dress um, from Intermix. Ronnie Kobo is one of my favorite contemporary fashion brands because Ronnie Kobo just does interesting silhouettes, interesting textures, interesting um everything just so well i'm gonna um po put a couple pictures up one of this dress because i haven't worn it quite yet um because you know just haven't worn it quite yet i haven't really been leaving the house that much i'm also gonna put a picture up of some of the other pieces that i have worn from ronnie kobo just so y'all can see the range of what this brand can do such interesting fabrics um patterns um, silhouettes, just just very interesting clothing. I love Ronnie Kobo. This dress actually has shoulder pads. I don't know if y'all can see it. So it's not just like a simple white sweater dress. Cause y'all know I'm not gonna buy a simple white sweater dress. I'm not gonna do that. Um, mm -mm. I'm not gonna do that. It has to have some something interesting, something interesting. And when I saw the shoulder pads, I was like, I have to get it. I have to. I love me a shoulder pad, y'all, because what shoulder pads do is they broaden your shoulders. They make your shoulders look wider or more broad. So when your shoulders look more broad, your waist looks smaller. That's a that is a style hack that I have learned over the years, proven by science. Just just Google it. You know the Googles will tell you. But shoulder pads add a chain belt to the waist. Knee high boots. Perfect look perfect look i look forward to styling this more i need to actually you know style it and wear it um but yeah that's another item that i got during um some sales and i wanted to add it to this collective luxury haul um the dress is originally 140 dollars. i got it for 40 percent off and so i paid 100 dollars for this dress just quality interesting will last for season after season after season year after year after year the next item that i wanted to tell y'all about is this norma kamali top now norma kamali is another one of my uh, favorite uh, contemporary fashion designers norma kamali has been in the game for decades at this point and so 
she's that girl. When I saw this top, I just had to have it. Every time I see something that's, if you see something that's in its collective luxury haul, I look at it and I'm like, I have to have it. So I had to have it and so I bought it. <laughs> um, so this top is, it has, um, it's like a turtleneck top, but it has a cutout. So you see, you can show a little cleavage. So it has a little cutout and it's long sleeve. It also has um, thumb holes. So it adds a little bit of edge. Let me, so it has a thumb hole, you know, you can wear the top and put your thumbs through it. It is made out of twill. It's more of like a, I don't know how to describe the fabric. It's kind of stretchy though, but it's very comfortable. And it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful top. I've worn this in both casual and dressy looks. So I'm gonna insert a clip of a reel that I posted on Instagram where I was wearing this top. And then I'm also gonna post a photo of myself where I was wearing a more casual look. So I also paired this with jeans to give it like, you know, a cool girl edge, a cool girl vibe. This top was, I think, $100 originally. And I got it for, I think, $56 or $52 or something like that. Um, and I've seen this top uh, go on sale again over the past couple weeks. And so I will be inserting um, the link to this, not only this, but everything else as well, just so you can, you know, shop at your leisure. I don't wanna keep y'all for too long, so this is gonna be the last item that I talk about. And this is going to be the Saint Laurent Satin Floral Detail Heels, I think they're called. They're called something different on the Saint Laurent website than they are called when you might get them from My Teresa or Farfetch, for example. But they're essentially these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous green heels that have this gorgeous floral detail in the front. Very minimalist, strappy heel. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And Brittany from Pockets and Bows TV actually has these. And when I saw her um, talk about them in her collective luxury haul, I was like, oh, so I got a co-sign. I have a co-sign. Somebody else knows that these shoes are it. Like, look at them. So luxurious. It's made out of, the, the shoe is made out of satin fabric. So beautiful against my skin tone. I have worn these shoes um, in some of my reels for Instagram. I'm just gonna insert some clips of, of me, how I've styled the shoes. I've styled them in a couple ways. But yeah, these shoes are gorgeous. I went to New York for Halloween in 2021. And I have been looking, I don't even know how I found out about these shoes, but I had been looking on, um, just randomly looking on the internet and these shoes somehow popped up and I was like, I need those shoes. I need those shoes. Where can I get those shoes? I go on every website, My Teresa, they don't have them in green. They have them in the pink or black. I go on the St. Laurent website. They're not listed on the website, of course. I go on um, Farfetch. I believe they may have had the green color, but they weren't my size. So I was like, I'm just not gonna get these shoes. I'm just not gonna get them. So while I was shopping in uh, New York, I was in Soho, Halloween weekend. I went to St. Laurent store on a whim. As I'm walking out of the store, I see these heels. I'm like, those are the shoes. Those are the shoes. I'm with my friend, I'm like, die. Those are the shoes. Those are the shoes I've been looking for for so long. Those are the shoes. So I tapped the sales lady, the sales associate. I'm like, hey, 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 those shoes, I've been looking at them for months. Can you please tell me if you have them in a size 38 or a size U, a, a US size eight? So she looks in her, um, you know, how they have the little technology where they can like track stock and they can see what's, what stores have them and, and in what size, what color and all that. So she, she, looks, she looks up, she looks the product up and she's like, there's only two pairs of these shoes in the entire city of New York in your size. I said, then it, it was just meant for me to have these shoes then. It was just meant for me to have these shoes. You, I can kind of tell that the sales lady, when I like said I didn't want a bag, she was kind of annoyed. She's like, oh, she just came in here to look for stuff. You know how they do, you know how they do. 
But as soon as I looked at these shoes and I told her I wanted to buy it, her face lit up. She's like, okay, well, let me go ahead and get these packaged up for you. Let me go ahead and, and create an account for you. I can be your sales associate or um, just register it as yourself. She was, you know, she, you know, she did her, she did her thing. I just had to have them and they're gorgeous and they I think they're like $995 without tax I think with tax I paid a little over a thousand dollars for them but I'm gonna have them forever they're so beautiful um, they're just just that perfect pop of color in a look the one con that I have about them is that they hurt like a B word they hurt okay they hurt they're so painful to walk in but if you you're wearing these out I think the pain is worth what they look like. Beauty is pain. You know how they say beauty is pain? These shoes definitely embody that. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was from this collective luxury haul. I already have my favorite. My favorite is the Saint Laurent shoes because I just, they just get me every time like even thinking about them just gets me so excited about them that's my favorite piece so let me know in the comments what your favorite piece is if you like this video please be sure to give me a huge thumbs up please be sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see y'all in the next one bye